Hey, Pilot OCRs. Uh, David Ashby here with episode three of the Pilot OCR training for the iLearn3 transition. So I've titled this episode, episode three, Grades. What are they good for? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> anyway, uh, just a little bit of fun for you to get started. I'll make this one uh, hopefully quick, but we're going to talk about the grades and the grade book specifically. Uh, and I wanted to give you a quick little breakdown. So uh, fundamentally, the grade book in iLearn3 exists separately and it doesn't have uh, a lot of software connections to the activities in the LMS. You have to think of it a little bit like a grade book in the traditional classroom, right? I have my grade book over here and I have all my activities and I just, as I grade them, I put the grades on the grade book. Now it's a little bit more complicated than that, but that's kind of the basic things. Uh, so just a couple things to help you with this. I'm going to kind of go off my notes here. Um, due dates, with the, because of this grade book being separate, what we've decided is that due dates should be set up in the tools or content pages and not in the grade book. And there's a long history behind that. I won't uh, bore you with details, but essentially uh, having due dates in the grade book doesn't give us a whole lot of benefit. In fact, it gave us more problems than anything. So don't worry if you do not see a due date in the grade book. That's not what we want to be looking for as pilot OCRs. So we're going to talk about the four sections of the grade book real fast, and I'm going to jump over to this grade book. Now, when I go to grades, I get these four tabs here. I get enter grades, manage grades, schemes, and setup wizard. And the enter grades is where I get the columns, the spreadsheet kind of view, where I can enter grades. Um, and that's going to be your default view most of the time. Now, if you want to change that default view, if it's not showing up for you right, you can always go here to settings and you can change what your default view of your gradebook is. Right here it says start page, is it manage grades, is it enter grades, what do you want it to be? So you can do that there, just a little FYI. Um, okay, so let's talk about manage grades for a second. Manage grades is where you can see all of your grade categories and all of your grade items. That's what I'm looking at here. If I go out to the right, I can see that this is a numeric type of uh, assignment. In other words, we're counting the points. And I can also see what is this associated with. So there's grade associations on uh, many things. So if I want to associate this grade item to a quiz or a discussion board or a uh, Dropbox assignment, I can do that. And if you click on this right here, it'll actually tell you what is this grade association. So in other words, what is the activity that this grade item is associated with? Now if I scroll down here, there's actually some this, with this groups, I haven't finished set up, setting up these groups, and so there is no grade item, sorry, no activity associated with this grade item. And that's not a problem, it's just the way that, uh, it's just that this is halfway undone for me. Uh, in many cases, some course designs have set it up so that uh, there are some grade items that are not associated with any activities. Uh, it's more of a web activity or something of a third party nature where you'll probably just be bringing that grade item in after the fact. Okay, so if I go back to my notes here, just a couple things I wanted to point out. Um, if we go to manage grades, we can click on the arrow next to the category to see what the grade settings are. So in other words, uh, you, can, you may or may not have grade categories, like weighted grade categories. But if you do, you can click on this category and hit edit item, and you can see how is this being um, calculated? What are the restrictions? How... Uh, is it being excluded from the final grade? Uh, what are the points? There's a bunch of options you can have in here. Um, so if you want to look at that, look at that there. But please don't be changing things in here. These are definitely things that should be decided by the course council. So don't, I would not go rogue here. <laughs> um, so just a nice way to check and see how you're being calculated. Now, there are schemes. Now the schemes, I'm just going to show you, this is a BYU-Idaho set up grade scheme that basically talks about what represents an A, what represents a B, C, D, etc. So don't change anything there. The setup wizard is also something you do not want to change, but you can at least go here and you can read. Is this a is this grade book set up by points or by weight? Um, is the and then some of these other things may be important to you. Are you going to drop ungraded items? How is it going to handle these things? Uh, they're nice little things to. Uh, to inspect. But ultimately you want to come back here to manage grades. Now one thing I would look for as an instructor, if you are not doing calculated grades and you are doing point grades, if your, if your system is on points, when I first got to this course it was points, but it was set up with grade categories like teach one another, 
and uh, ponder and improve. It was all based off the learning model. But what that resulted in was a grade book that had, um, in fact, that's not a good example, but a grade book like this, the grade book is set up by categories and then the assignments. So it has to group everything in a category together. So I had lesson, I had lesson one, two, three, four. I'd scroll way out to the right. I had lesson one, two, three, four. And so when I'm trying to grade lesson one, I have to grade lesson one here, scroll over lesson one here, scroll over and lesson one here. That's a really, really terrible experience for most instructors. So what we've done, if your grade book is by points, is we want you to suggest that you make your categories lesson numbers. So this grade book now has lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, and all the activities there in that lesson so that when I'm trying to grade, I can see all lesson one assignments all next to each other. It's pretty cool. So if you see that, that's a really good thing for you to be looking for. All right. Um, calculations. Should your, so you really want to look at this. Should your grade book be set up by weighted or by points? Okay. Uh, that's really an important thing to be looking at. Uh, we want to look at naming conventions next. Um, so are your, ca are your naming conventions useful. When we first looked at this course, uh, it had L01 colon dot 01 slash LMQ. It was really, really not helpful. Uh, the category names were odd. The activity names were odd. And so what we want to do is if you find that you can come up with a better naming solution that will be more, uh, e it will be easier for instructors to see, we want you to go ahead and suggest that. Now you can look at this and hit edit grade item. And you can see that you've got your long name and your short name. Do they make sense to you? Do they make sense to students? Uh, so if I go back over to this grade book, you'll see that this is the category up here. And then this is the short name. And you're only going to see short names down here below. Now, if you hover over top of this arrow, then you'll see the long name. And that's where the long names appear. And so if you can't automatically see what the assignment name is, by the short name, and you have to always hover over to find the long name, that may not be a great naming convention, and maybe you can think of a better one. Uh, remember that a lot of these naming conventions were created by students who were assigned to transition the course as quickly as they could. So in many cases, we're not tied to those naming conventions. We just need to get something down here that works for you and the rest of your instructors. Uh, let's see. And that's really it. That's the, the long and short of the grade book. There's not a whole lot else going on in here. Uh, you can see everything you need to see and manage grades and enter grades. Um, I really think you'll like it if you, if you can find a way to get your class organized by lesson. It is possible. It's very difficult to do when you do weighted grades. If you're going to do weighted grades, you have to get really creative on how you do uh, lesson categories. But... Anyway, uh, those should be a couple things to help you get started, help you look, know what to look for. Enter tickets wherever you find that you want to make these changes. Please, once again, do not change anything in Schemes or Setup Wizard. Um, and that should get you started. Uh, holler at me uh, with email or in the online community if you have any questions or anything that I can do to help you get your pilot uh, course polished up for instructors to come behind you. I hope you guys have a great day.